yeah yeah the more you sweet in peace the less you bleed in war there is no shortcut to hard work basically everybody yeah, says that there is no shortcut All right, everybody. Today again, I'm on this incredible startup lanes platform, bringing you another incredible personality from the corporate world. Today we have Mr. Vijay Shitole, who is the Chief Human Resources Officer at MEP Infrastructure Developers Limited. So today we get to know a little more about him as a person, his professional journey, his setbacks, and everything that makes that incredible person that he is. So welcome on our platform, uh, Mr. Vijay. We are so honored that you took out this precious time for us to have this incredible conversation so that you know we can inspire and motivate young entrepreneurs and young people entering the workforce with full energy and zest uh thank you very much geet uh, for a wonderful introduction uh i'm humbled and honored uh, to be the part of uh, this conversation once again i would like to thank you for the opportunity uh it's my privilege and honor uh, to guide the people Uh, around you who are the budding entrepreneurs in this session i will do my best uh, you know whatever pulse of knowledge i can share with you or uh, anyone who for whom it is intended to i started uh, you can say i would like to introduce you something slightly differently not like other typical hr professionals i always say i am into people's business okay i am into people business since last 36 years for me what business really means that means it's my breath it's my life it's my you can say it's my journey altogether okay so this journey is almost 36 years long in this last 36 years uh, i started uh, you can say i had a fascination for uh, flying machines basically uh, when i was a kid so i just wanted uh, you can say to fly or uh, to work on the machines or something like that so that's the reason uh, i was always thinking about you know flying machines um, joining indian airlines joining indian air force or something like that uh, so fortunately when i was during my college days my dream came to i saw an advertisement in the local newspaper uh, indian air force inviting young people to join and so that was when you know i started my journey uh, uh, i just got selected and then uh, i moved to, uh, from one place to another so in this entire journey uh, of almost 20 long years i learned i learned lot many good things okay uh, i traveled across length and breadth of this country mm. i was there uh, on some uh, you can say mission critical operations operations missions and all as a part of a military establishment so again uh, you would be more interested to know about my corporate journey okay i would so like to know parallelly... everything uh, you know your professional journey and also your personal setbacks or anything that has you know stood by you in when the time got tough in your life so not just professional we want to know uh, you know vijay shitole as a person as well that will add more flavor to the uh, your professional journey so i would take uh, next 5 minutes for uh, you know uh, giving you broad uh, outline of my yes. journey in okay see from the time that you graduated in... you were fresh beaming out of college from the time that you have reached this incredible position we would like to know a little more just about like the entire journey in concise form so you know again i would like to repeat young lad having fascination for machines okay moving into services military arm of the armed forces uh, that my name called uh, indian air force uh, and then starting the journey and then uh, as a uh, you can say as a young person very young actually i did not have any kind of a road map for myself to what i'm expected to do next what i'm supposed to do next i i thought it appropriate to start the service of the nation so i started uh i grew in the ranks uh, over the period of time i worked very hard worked very hard uh then uh, 
be it Himachal, be it Northeast, be it, you can say, central part of India, be it uh, our headquarters in Delhi. So I worked at many places. Uh, again, that journey was very incredible in the sense uh, we were taught to obey, basically. We were taught to obey. In courses, they say if you learn to obey, then you learn, then you can only then only you can command. I repeat, if you learn to obey, then only you can command. You can command. So I command, yeah. And uh, there is one more saying: the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. Repeat so that, please. That That's a key significant... takeaway. Yeah, yeah. The more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. Elaborate, please. It? Elaborate for our audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, it really means what? It really means you should be always prepared for any and every contingency in life. Okay. The more you train yourself, the more uh, you equip yourself with knowledge, the more you equip you, yourself with uh, armaments and all everything. And uh, you need to train very, very hard during the peace times. Once you train very, very hard during the peace times, then only you can conquer the enemy. Okay, so that means the less, the more you sweat in peace, okay, you have to try train very, very hard. Once you train very, very hard, then only that training will help you to overcome the, uh, you can say, be it a war situation or any other contingencies. So that taught me uh, a very good lesson of life. You have to be always ready with plan B in life. Okay. Because if you are dealing with contingencies, you have to be always, you know, you should be confident about your plan A. But what if that plan A fails? You should be ready with your plan B so that your success ratio is always 100%. So that is one thing. Secondly, learning from a, you can say, military, what I bring in to a assignment and that's the reason I'm successful. Be at, be at ground zero, be at ground zero and aim for the skies. Okay. What it means is very simple. You need to be, you can say, very well grounded to the realities of life and Again, that should not stop you from dreaming big. So dreaming big is always uh, so. Uh, we can we can draw the parallel. Entrepreneurs always dream big. You know they think that he, uh, they are going to make an enterprise out of a you can say ground zero. But what they need to do is equally important. In my opinion. They need to do their homework well. They need to train very well. They need to train really hard so that they can overcome the contingencies of the business. That's one thing. So now moving on to my journey. Uh, again, for a corporate world, uh, you always need, you doesn't need a person only well-trained. You need a person well-qualified basically. So again, I kept on updating myself. I acquired three masters, two diplomas and three certificate courses in the record time of 11 years. <laughs> so again, wow. I was ready. I, yeah, yeah. So I have, uh, I did not have exposure to premier business school uh, when I was in services, but uh, I was fortunate enough to graduate from Symbiosis. Okay, uh, lovely, lovely. Course. Pune, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah Symbiosis Pune. I'm an alumni of Symbiosis Pune. And uh, recently I had been con conferred with uh, Symbiosis Ratna Award also. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and so again, uh, when I wanted to start my corporate journey, I had two offers in hand. One was from a big corporate in Pune, uh, which was, uh, you can say, very cushy job, you know, uh, kind of a plum job, basically, wherein uh, almost 100 people reporting into to you, you are uh, given an accountability to handle uh, employee um, relations. You, you are given, uh, it, it was a big corporate. Uh, I, I, I'm, I can't name because, you know, for the matter of ethics now. 
so uh, that was one job one assignment in pune another assignment was uh, a factory assignment uh, in one of the uh, company in mumbai so what i did actually because i wanted to always learn my way very hard okay i wanted to be there on the shop floor i wanted to be there uh, at the place where the you can say revenue of the uh, you know uh, firm comes from so so that's the reason uh, i chose a difficult way basically so choosing the difficult way uh, gave me the real grounding of my entire corporate life and made me very strong so again the job which was in pune uh it would have faced me 40% higher ctc at that time okay so i am i am really happy about that uh, i got a good bargain basically uh, as a person basically so again you asked me about as a person so i thought that factory assignment is more challenging and i took it up and that was the whole turning point for my career because i got to understand straight out of out from military to corporate okay and getting the lessons on a hardcore shop floor okay i became the darling of all at the shop floor due to my you can say strong employee connect okay then again uh, i started the training i started training the people uh i can name the corporate i joined emerson network power in india that is a fortune 500 us multinational so by virtue of my being highly ethical and uh, you know i got an accountability to train the people in global ethics program so that was an official i became an official trainer for emerson global ethics compliance program so in that particular assignment i trained 225 people okay uh, i always believe in creating a kind of a learning organization wherever wherever i go you know i'm a avid trainer i have trained maybe um, i i can't say but you know i have i have i might have trained almost 1000 plus people maybe wow uh, 1000 3000 or maybe something like that because uh, i believe that you know uh, whatever one knows actually uh, the best way to multiply applies to impart it to the people okay and uh, uh, take them to the next level so this has been a wonderful journey uh, of last almost more than 17 years in the corporate wherein i have worked with a uh, tire major i worked with a serpentins major i worked with the uh, you can say a diamond company i worked with a, uh, a leading pharma company in india so all these years have taught me one thing that if you have a strong employee connect and if you have a strong business connect you will always remain marketable uh, you know employable by anyone and everyone i have worked uh, in fortune 500 i worked in fortune 100 i have worked in a you can say family run businesses i worked with the ministry of commerce entity uh, and uh, still it's going on on and on uh, i always uh, thank the almighty uh, every day and uh, i always pray to him that uh, once i get up in the morning give me at least three challenges every day which i can you know overcome. execute that's such overcome. a good cliche way give me three challenges that i can overcome every every day and uh, i always believe that you know there is no shortcut to hard work basically everybody Even says that there is no shortcut so you need to work hard every day you need to prove yourself every second okay and then only you remain relevant in the market basically so remaining relevant in the market irrespective of your age irrespective of your age is very very important in today's you can say cutthroat competition so uh, again a journey to describe is pretty simple uh, a person moving from uh, a kind of a vernacular medium to you know 
uh, scaling up and you know learning every day uh, and i always want to learn uh, i i always i'm driven by the by the energy of the youngsters okay i always feel that ki i need to contribute every minute every second every day okay and it it goes on and it's it really 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 keeps me moving uh, in my journey and i always say ki look uh, i always uh, i'm the one hr professional i will tell you very interesting thing i always train my people to such a level that they become the darling of the competitors competitors oh, lovely to... lovely yeah yeah because you know i'm not i'm not the hr person who is scared ki my competitors will poach my people no i always say ki you know my thought process is pretty simple if i train my 10 people if my competitor takes away four people also okay i am not at a loss at any moment i mean because those four people will always remain my brand ambassadors because i have trained them as a company okay and they will always remain my brand ambassadors so that's what my thought process and i always believe in taking the war to the competitors star basically okay we are into talent war at all times okay i i am not scared but i scare the people with yes. my superior hiring skills okay so again you know it's it's all it's a, you know creating winning teams uh developing ecosystems wherein uh, people uh, feel uh, you know the they get a feeling of a belongingness okay uh, now you might have heard about that you know uh diversity equity inclusion and belongingness everybody talks about those terms okay i always tell to the whole world uh, look belongingness is not a term came from a foreign land or something like that that was always there in, in, in our indian culture okay whenever whenever uh, we wanted to join any company the hr always used to tell ki look uh, vijay there are uh, Hundred people working with us for fifteen long years, something like that. That kind of belongingness, loyalty, and uh, always tell the whole world, you know, uh, you can't teach us loyalty. You can't teach us loyalty. I, this this is not meant for Indians. This is meant for the outside world. You can't teach us loyalty. Loyalty. We are born loyal people. Yes, we are born we loyal. We belong. We we are belong to the place. We belong to the place. We don't work. we give our 100% at the workplace okay we are not 9 to 5 animals sorry to use that word in the session but we are not 9 to 5 people basically okay we work more with our hearts put together we feel attached to the workplaces and that's the reason you know uh, this concept of a work life balance concept of a work life balance uh doesn't honestly hold any relevance in the indian companies okay we only speak big about the things okay but we tend to spend we tend to spend we we don't do it intentionally with it 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 comes naturally we we are we indians are very target oriented people we teach the whole world okay you might Absolutely. have seen a lot of ceo yes. lot of ceos and all and all uh, so i was i was just speaking to a journalist i told her look look bola belongingness is not new to indians basically it is our term which is stolen by uh, uh, foreign media and then again they are teaching us the same thing all right for the sake of you know we are running low on time here i would like to ask you which is that one person who has made an incredible difference in your life and you are most grateful in your professional journey that you have they have always stood by you given you the right advice i i have i have uh, two people actually i have two people uh, if you allow me uh, my own mom actually my mother and my wife okay they stood by me in anything and everything i did <laughs> honestly in anything and everything i did okay i my so mother my dad they never yeah my mother my dad never forced any decision on me the decision to join the indian air force was my decision okay my dad told ki it's your life you take your own decisions and join it 
दे इन दो टाइम्स ऑल्सो दे नेवर गॉट स्केर्ड की ओके दे मे लूज देअर सन ओके टू इन सम वॉर लाइक सिच्युएशन और समथिंग लाईक दॅट अँड अगेन नाव कमिंग बॅक टू माय वाईफ ओके शी इज देअर विथ मी सिन्स लास्ट ट्वेंटी एट प्लस इयर्स ओके शी इज शी स्टँड्स लाईक अ रॉक विथ मी इन ऑल माय डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स वेदर i am i am at the peak of the mountain or whether i am at the bottom of the you can say this earth or something like that so shaping the career uh, so see blessed. again you know uh, you are beyond blessed yeah, I, 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 that I'm, is I'm all you need blessed. i have that is all you need i have need. a great family i have a that great family actually yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, i 100% agree with you so again you know shaping the career you know see, there are certain compromises in life okay which we need to do on a daily basis it's not compromises i won't say compromises say it would be the right word could be adjustments basically adjustment is the right word yes. compromise has a very negative yes. intonation to it adjustment is where you meet the yes. other person where you know they are at so i think we all have to adjust yes. in all facets of our life so let's not put a negative annotation of compromise so adjustment is that what we we should actually and that's what so again uh, both of the Uh, i always say ki both girls <laughs> they they are there with me at all times that's all i needed to hear i think that's one of the main key takeaways is that an influential position like you know mr vijay shitole is still so humble and grounded and gives the credit to his mother and wife i think that's such an heartwarming thing to hear uh, especially people at high stature as him so i'm genuinely so so grateful that i got to hear that from you especially if you you know we have a time constraint but i would love to continue this conversation and we can also have another session in a, a few weeks from now but uh, due to time constraint we, i would like to ask you a little more about you know you must have you know gone through a little uh, uh, more about startup planes uh, that i work for and uh, have you uh, if you know a little bit about us would you like to give us uh, some sort of suggestions inputs or do you have any thoughts about what we are doing here we have uh, you know we are into a funding startup we have already funded about approximately 128 startups with an investment portfolio of about 350 crores and we are inviting mentors in the form of incredible people like you to kind of you know help our startups grow and you know thrive and get inspiration from you so we would definitely definitely like to get in touch with you for our mentorship program as well but do you have any words for us startup plans is a wonderful initiative actually okay whatever i heard about startup it's really really incredible you are doing a great job uh, in grooming the people uh, i heard uh, your ceo saying that you know people once uh, i give i mentor the, uh the uh, entrepreneurs for their idea they think about the investment whether i'm going to invest into that okay but uh, it's not like that you know idea all ideas needs to be mentored and you people are doing an incredible job bringing you know all versatile platforms okay uh, and i think uh, i don't know whether you have come up you uh, you have a plans to come up with a magazine also Yeah I think that's what that's, that we need to do that's such an incredible thing we need to have a magazine yes yeah, yeah, yeah. note it down so, yes one thing and then you can uh, establish uh, uh, connect you can keep this uh, entre- entrepreneurship community wired throughout the, their journey because see again uh, uh, they always say uh, almost 70% ventures they fail okay uh, again my suggestion if i am allowed to speak of course know, that's how i'm asking yes please yeah, yeah, we need all yeah, the suggestions yeah yeah so 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 yeah yeah my suggestion to budding entrepreneurs will be a very simple suggestion uh, listen to the customers okay suppose what what if if uh, if i am wearing this attire whether this looks good on me or not it i need to through uh, see it through the eyes of the customers okay if i am starting any apparel uh, brand or something like that if i am wearing it if it is looking if it is a red color blue color if it is looking good or me good on me or not that really doesn't matters what customer wants listen to the customers go to the customers uh, talk to them feel the pulse of the customer 
then you start the product development okay uh, you might be knowing about the microsoft story the you should know how to sell the idea basically you first sell the idea in the best possible manner get the customer feedback work on it develop the product take that product in that particular gestation period you will you will have that time to go right. with this one so you know the, the whole idea is you know doing the homework very well homework right. very well if you do your homework then 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 there won't be any failure and then again you have to bank you have to bank on your human assets okay everyone everyone joining the startup be it in any domain must know how must know how to sell how yes. to sell selling if is such an or, art how to sell yeah, yeah selling is an art actually selling marketing everything everyone should know so the teams be it a 10 people team 20 people team okay as they grow big and all something like that everyone should be a great salesman include the great salesman in your team and the people with the technical capabilities you will never fail do your homework well that's what my suggestion is thank you thank you how do people stay connected and inspired with you how do people reach out to you just i i walk up to them put my hand on their shoulders but how do people okay. otherwise the, that you don't get to meet how do they connect with you like our audience who's watching you right now i listen to the people i listen to the people that connects me to uh, and uh, whoever whoever wants to get connected with me they can connect with me uh, telephonically through the sessions whoever wants to uh, have some insights on any of the life aspects life skills basically they can always connect with me uh, with a prior appointment and then you know uh, i, I I I I say uh, I don't believe in inspiring. Actually, I I believe in being the part of their life. Lovely. Okay, Lovely. it's not, see it's not it's see it's it's for the uh, all the gurus and babas and all they they want to you know motivate inspire. I I want to be the I want to be the part of life. So how do how do they the get people. connected through? Uh, do you have like an email that you are willing to share, or would you want them to connect through WhatsApp I, or uh, I, LinkedIn? I, I, email, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, even even they can connect with me on a Facebook. Though I am not that active. Okay, got it, got it. all social media. Okay, uh, who, whomever wants to get connected with me, you can share my email. You can share my WhatsApp number. All right, perfect. So I, Free, thank you for uh, being so grounded and humble you know uh and i'm not, you know I'm like that. Uh, so yeah so i think right now we'll have to wrap up our interview because of our time constraint but i'll definitely get in touch with you with our mentorship program going forward so that we have incredible startup founders who are perhaps watching us right now they can definitely get motivated inspired with you in person or even virtually 